guys, this is Taz. And this is Mikey. And welcome to another episode of Gamers League. Yeah! All right, today's show is gonna be mainly about a press conference Microsoft had this week. It's called X10. X10. They pretty much went over new games, some exclusives, non-exclusives, like some gadgets, tech, you know. Gears of War 3. Nah. They talked about a lot of stuff inside of Microsoft. And we're gonna be speaking a lot about that. And we have a couple of Sony news that are, oh yeah. So let's get on with the show, baby. Boom. Oh, yeah. In some micro news. Yeah. All right then. So the juiciest news that came out of this X10 conference, at least for me, was the release date of the Halo Reach beta. And that date is May 3rd. So mark it on your calendar and all that bullshit because I'm excited for it. You're probably excited for it too. Oh, and by the way, guys, just a little side note. You need the Halo ODST disc in order to get into this beta. So make sure for May 3rd, you go into the store, you buy your copy of Halo ODST, used or new, it doesn't matter. Pop it in on May 3rd, boom, you're in the beta right there, baby, oh yeah. And Bungie also gave us a release season for the actual game, which is fall of this year. So fall of this year, it'll be September, October, November. Get excited for the actual Halo Reach game. Ooh, so I mean spring, you're gonna be playing the beta and summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, 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 chill. The game is coming out in fall, guys. We already know that. But you're forgetting something, though. Bungie came out with a vid doc which shows us new additions and tweaks to the game. This includes, obviously, you can get new weapons, you can sprint now, and a new graphical engine. Oh, yeah. Holy and. Shit. They're also releasing some armor types that have special things like perks. Pretty much if you choose one armor, you'll run faster. And if you choose another one, or jam the radar, and there's cops outside, popo, whatever. And then you're running, right? And then the, another armor will shoot faster. There'll be a lot of customization in this game. Bungie we really, really highlighted that. We really don't know what to expect. I mean, there might be new Vic Docs in the future. So, so maybe a, re a review of the beta when it comes out from us. Maybe in the future, whatever. Check out we'll more see. info over there, down there. Awesome, May 3rd. Mark it down on your calendar. Sick day for school and work. Game over. Yeah! Capcom is making a Dead Rising 2 prologue and it's called Dead Rising K0. Pretty much what it does is bridges the gap between Dead Rising 1 and Dead Rising 2. It's gonna tell you everything that happened in between. Everything that you wanna know is gonna be in this prologue. It only comes out for Xbox Live. It'll probably be an arcade game or something. So sorry PS3 users and anything else, just for Xbox Live. And it's gonna be released before the official release date of Dead Rising 2, which is August 31st. So around probably July, August around there, you know what's up with the prologue. We got gameplay and new screenshots. So if you're interested in that, check it out over there down there. They actually look really, really cool. So, so you guys get ready for the... I actually like this because, you know, they're bridging the gap. It's not just like, oh, here's Dead Rising 2. Yeah, it's just like a random show. Yeah, yeah, so they're actually like telling you what happens in between the That's first That's good. They the back up everything then. Yeah, so get ready for that Xbox Live users over there down there. There is a shitload of new info on the Left 4 Dead 2 DLC, The Passing. And guess what, guys? What? The Left 4 Dead 1 survivors are appearing in this DLC for Left 4 Dead 2. Let's get to that a little bit later. What? So pretty much it's going to have new weapons and new infected. The new infected is called the Uncommon Common, and his name is the Fallen Survivor. Pretty much what he does, he, he thinks that he's immune to the virus, that he's not a zombie, but he really is. So you carry around med packs, little pills, little injections, and when you kill him, Boom, gotta pick it up, whatever, it's yours to keep. That's cool. And around the third level around this campaign, they're gonna feature the Left 4 Dead 1 survivors. So you're gonna meet up with them, work together as a team. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but it's so amazing. It comes out, this DLC comes out around April, May, or June. So I'm really excited for this, but that is not all Valve have up their sleeve. Oh, damn, that's right. Left 4 Dead 1 is coming out with a DLC a month after the passing DLC for Left 4 Dead 2. And the DLC for Left 4 Dead 1 is gonna be the Left 4 Dead 1 crew, survivors, whatever, and they're gonna be going in and you see all their progress and how they get into the Left 4 Dead 2 DLC, the passing. Yeah. It's actually gonna be pretty interesting how we see them all, how they yeah, it's survive. It's pretty much like a prequel to the passing. It is like, like Star Wars. But you gotta go back to the first game. Back to the first I, game. I actually like this idea because I'm pretty sure everybody that owns Left 4 Dead 1 has Left 4 Dead 2. Definitely. So, Get ready to get like everybody together. Interconnected. It's gonna be really fun. Really fun. I don't know how it's gonna work out. Maybe eight player co-op. That'd be oh amazing. That'd be like you see one group going this way, one group going that way. Mm. 
It's gonna be a really cool release date around April, May, or June, guys. So get ready for that. Check it out with it on there. More screenshots, pictures, whatever. Microsoft is coming out with an Xbox 360 bundle for Final Fantasy 13. Oh yeah. The bundle is gonna include two wireless controllers, 250 gigs of hard drive memory, and obviously the game. And not only that, it's bringing out a little DLC for your avatar so you can dress them up if you like dressing people up. I don't know. I really don't find the avatars cool or whatever. Don't forget, guys, you're getting three discs while the PlayStation's only getting one. Oh, but I think it's a good idea though, Taz, because someone who has not played Final Fantasy and don't have a 360 could play together. I mean, the 250 gigs are worth it alone. And the 360 is custom made, like you see like Final Fantasy, you know, on the side. And two wireless controllers are usually like 50 it's bucks. It's worth it, guys, if you don't have a 360. If you already do, fuck this shit. Remember, it comes out the day Final Fantasy comes out. So check it out whether it's on there. Looks cool. Yeah, check it Shabam. out. Shabam. In some Sony news! It didn't hit us? Alrighty then, so finally we get some Uncharted 2 DLC. Oh yeah, baby. It comes with two maps. Two maps. Get ready for this. Two maps, six player skins. So you can dress up your guy. But how, wait, how is that gonna work out? Like, is there, are they new skins? Or? Yeah, new skins. I'll talk about that in a minute. I'll answer your question. Six player skins and new trophies, just multiplayer trophies. So if you kill 300 people, whatever you get a trophy. And in-game medals. So back to your question, the maps and the character skins are all influence of Uncharted 1. So pretty much like the maps and the skins are based off Uncharted 1. So all of you people have been playing Uncharted 1, the skins and the maps are gonna be based on that game. When is it coming out? It comes out February 25th and it'll be $6 on the PlayStation Network. That's awesome. So if you haven't tried it too, I'm, this is worth it. It's just six bucks, guys. So when it came out with a God of War 3 trailer. This trailer is freaking amazing. Oh my God, you see Kratos climbing up that Titan. You see him dragging himself up there. You see it's like a cinematic movie. You're actually like, if you're playing a movie, it's gameplay. It's gameplay and it's co I don't even know. I think it's all gameplay or like some cinematics in there. I don't know. Hopefully it's gameplay. What I love is it's, it's like a gameplay. That I think it's a gameplay I showed in there. Like Kratos is fighting a dragon on the arm of the Titan. So pretty much it's like them fighting here. And I guess that hurts a Titan or something. So he's like, and everything's moving at the same time that they're fighting. And he's like upside down on the dragon. Epic. It's a crazy epic fight. It's just an epic fight. This game is going to be epic. Maybe game of the year. Who knows? So the game is coming out, obviously, March. 16, I March. Hopefully it's a little sooner, even though it's not. Hopefully they come out, you know, <laughs> February. You know, they're like, oh yeah, let's fuck it, let's release it now. But it's not gonna happen. The trailer, so. the one that we're gonna show you right now, it's actually a commercial style. So It's like a trailer slash commercial. I don't know if it's commercial. Maybe you'll see it on the TV one day. Who knows? Who knows? Check it out with it on there. This trailer is amazing. Top notch material. Check it out. Oh, okay. That is all the news we have for today, guys, but, me and Mike want to announce something oh, that's right. that two things we want to announce. The first one is we want to bring something back that we used to do called Q&A with TNT. But now that battle's not here, we're going to call it Q&A with TNM until we find something new to call it. So pretty much the question of today is what was your favorite game of 2009? What is it, Mikey? Tell me, tell me yours first. Damn, this is actually pretty tough. All right, get so choice, man. Let's go. Model for two gets my win for the favorite game of 2009. But then again, Uncharted 2 is right there. Yeah. What's your favorite 2009? I would have to go with Mikey. Model for two dropped out of school for like two weeks. Copy I'm just kidding, it. guys. Uh, so leave your comments down there. Tell us your favorite game of 2009. We'll communicate a little bit, me and you. Uh, yeah, maybe. And that's pretty much all we have to announce. I'm excited. So don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, bam, in your face, bam, subscribe, Oh yeah. yeah. This guy's gonna kill me one day. Watch. Whatever. This is Taz. And this is Mikey. And GFG. Thanks for watching. He's gay. You're gay.